Type 1 Diabetes and Beta Cell Transplant Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease in which the immune system mistakenly attacks the beta cells in the pancreas. The exact cause of this autoimmune response is not fully understood, but it is believed to involve a combination of genetic and environmental factors. Without functioning beta cells, the pancreas cannot produce insulin, leading to elevated blood sugar levels. The process of beta cell transplantation involves several steps. The beta cells used for transplantation are typically obtained from deceased organ donors. Donors are carefully screened to ensure the compatibility and health of the donated cells. After organ retrieval, the pancreas is processed in a laboratory to isolate the beta cells. This process involves enzymatic digestion and purification to obtain a concentrated solution of beta cells. The isolated beta cells are then infused into the recipient's liver through a minimally invasive procedure called percutaneous islet transplantation. The cells are delivered into the liver via a catheter inserted into the portal vein, where they lodge and begin producing insulin. Beta cell transplantation can provide several benefits for individuals with type 1 diabetes. Transplanted beta cells can help regulate blood sugar levels, reducing the need for exogenous insulin injections and providing better glycemic control. As transplanted beta cells respond to changes in blood sugar levels, they can help prevent hypoglycemia, low blood sugar, by releasing insulin when needed. With improved blood sugar control, individuals may experience fewer diabetes-related complications and enjoy an enhanced quality of life. Challenges and Limitations While beta cell transplantation shows promise, there are several challenges and limitations to consider. The availability of suitable donor pancreases is limited, which restricts the widespread application of beta cell transplantation. The recipient's immune system may still recognize the transplanted cells as foreign and mount an immune response. Immunosuppressive medications are typically required to prevent rejection, but these medications can have side effects and increase the risk of infections. The long-term success of beta cell transplantation varies among individuals. Some may experience sustained insulin independence, while others may require additional interventions or eventually revert to exogenous insulin therapy. Ongoing research, scientists continue to explore ways to improve beta cell transplantation and overcome its limitations. This includes investigating alternative sources of beta cells, developing strategies for immune tolerance induction to avoid the need for long-term immunosuppression, and refining the transplantation procedure itself. It's important to note that beta cell transplantation is still considered an experimental procedure and is typically reserved for individuals with severe type 1 diabetes who have difficulty achieving adequate blood sugar control with conventional treatments. As research progresses, the hope is to refine the procedure, expand availability, and improve long-term outcomes for individuals with type 1 diabetes. Please support this channel by hitting the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.